uh, addressing unemployment and under reemployment of uh, engineers how then do we create a synergy you know between government private sector and counties to expand opportunities for engineers now we need to translate this um, engineering degree into a professional a professional practice and for us to take them through training we need work for them we need to mentor them we need to create opportunities for them to get engineering jobs the challenge again here is that the way the government procure procurement for infrastructure projects is done we exclude involvement of professional local engineers the the law is very clear that there should be some minimum uh, work that is done by locals what's called the local content but uh, we, with a huge uh, procurement of uh, public private partnership projects this private many of them or many of the private partners come from outside they are foreigners so they come with a complete design they don't involve local engineers in the design some of them as i said earlier they even want to construct to carry out the construction without involvement of local engineers so we uh, um, um, the 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 industry uh, the engineering practice is suffering a lot in kenya because we don't have opportunities to train and pass knowledge to these young engineers now it is clear that um, engineering is no longer just a support function it is at uh, the centerpiece of kenya's transformation how do we go about it now that we find ourselves in this space the Ch china's population most of it was poor they managed to move that country out of poverty there is, as we speak now there is no poor person in china in the last 40 50 years as they have done and what china did is that they embraced the fact that you need engineers to take the lead the leader of china is is a is an engineer many people leading china are engineers even the cabinet if you compare with our system you would say the president of china is an engineer the vice president is an engineer the cabinet ministers are engineers <laughs> so they have given the space and if you ask him what do you do when you have a problem the president of china will tell you i employ an engineer or if one engineer is not enough i employ another one what about 10 if they are unable to meet it i get 20 if 20 cannot do it i make it 40 so we have to embrace that for us to get solutions we have to embrace professionalism and it is not just about engineering it's across all professionals yes including wanting to change our system our election laws our electoral laws to accommodate to professionals, a, accommodate professionals 